Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Life on the Hulls and uh, as you can see we're moving forward. I've installed the fridge. Uh, Zach and I got it in last weekend just after we got back from Sam and Veronica's wedding. What a fantastic day that was. I think you'll agree that Jad and I scrubbed up okay and so did my kids. You've all seen them working here on the boat but honestly what a beautiful event. Family and friends, 107 people, two nights, three days of just absolutely spectacular time. This week we're going to get into some templating. I'm going to be working on the helm seat. There's a lot going on. Now as I go through the videos into the future, because I'm so far ahead, I'm going to actually add some little snippets of where I'm actually up to and try to overlay them over the work we're actually doing. So let's get into it. The substantial need for accessible wiring in this boat like any other boat is essential and I'm installing some access ports in the hard top here to be able to facilitate firstly install and secondly changes and repairs into the future. Luckily I'd planned this out, so I've got a good conduit here running all the way to the outside edge. I've got another one here running along to the light there. I've got my draw cord, and I've got the one going back to this one here. So I can pull wires all the way through this hard top without having to recore it all. It was a good plan that um, a long, long time ago I decided to put these conduits in, and then I didn't put enough in, and I had to put in some extra ones, and they were along here. These are the sorts of things that really start to pay off. Now I could have put a liner on this hard top or have it as one piece which has cut out a lot of weight and by cutting out a lot of the weight in this hard top I don't have an individual liner or a separate liner here we've gone for that raptor coating instead I've been able to have individual conduits running through all of these light chasers one two and three plus some other ones that are going to facilitate some LEDs around the outside so very very good planning the solar is going to come up through these stanchions at the back here and out and through potentially a scan strut fitting up on the hard top. And this is where all the planning from a year or two ago starts to really pay off is, uh, is when you get to this stage here. And, and I did actually think these hatches would be ideal for in here. So yeah, we're looking at this, this is pretty good. Well, today it's 42 degrees right now. And whoa. Not used to this, apparently it's the hottest day we've had in four years. The humidity is about 85%, so it's just disgusting. And of course I've got laminating and flow coating to do. Down in here, this hatch here has taken some work, but it's really going to be a valuable little storage compartment or perhaps an ice chest or something. And as you can see, I've sort of finished all the detail work. Got to do a lot of tidy up now, but the first thing I'm going to do is flow coat the inside of it with some gray flow coat, just so I can clean up the storage compartment inside. A lot of this finishing work is just taking a lot of time. I've just spent uh, an hour or so laminating all of the inside of the line box, which is actually a lot of structure for the winches as well. So that has now got like a triple box section around that winch plinth. So that's around about that thick. It is never going anywhere. That, that whole thing is now integrated into the hull. Got a lot going on in here with the lounge suites getting done. Uh, Pete came and picked that up yesterday and he's taken that frame away and we should have that by next Friday. So the push is on now. I've still got a few things to do. The last bit of spraying I have to do inside the boat is this fridge cabinet. I'm not happy with it. There's been a lot of other joins and integrations go into it to finish it and I do need to finish around the bottom. So I figure I'll just spray the whole thing, get it done in one hit and then basically I can come in and tidy the whole thing up and install the fridge. And anything that comes in now is basically got to be clean. I can't uh, just go and spray willy-nilly. But yeah, the, once that's in place, that's going to have to be wrapped in plastic and, uh, and never 
uh, get uncovered until the day we launch it, really. Uh, I've got fans, I've got our Sirocco 2s, I've got two of those for in the saloon here. I've got our air conditioning unit plugged in, our 240 volts is all live. Everything's starting to get wired in, USB connectors are all getting wired in. So we're really starting to see the end of a lot of major, major projects. One of the things we've endeavoured to do is to speed things up, and that is to buy a helm seat. And this beautiful hardwood timber frame, that's going to be it. No, it's actually not. I'm going to build and fabricate a stainless frame for this, which will come off this area here up at 90 degrees, come across and down onto this post here. And then I'm going to have two uprights that go up to the actual roof here to basically support the whole thing. And then I'll put a footrest on the front for little Janet because it is quite high. You have to climb into that seat every time you mount it. Um, and essentially that is the height it needs to be so we can see over the top. All right, that laminating inside my line box is complete and it's basically all gone off. I mean, it's so hot, it's 42 degrees right now. But down in here, there's a fairly big line box, probably not quite big enough for all of the stuff I'm gonna have going down in here, but it's a good start. I might end up with an additional bag or something. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it, perhaps something hanging off the, the helm station there. But yeah, it's all starting to come together. The flow coating I did 45 minutes ago and I've already been able to put stuff in here. So this flow coated compartment basically went off in less than 10 minutes. It's unbelievable the heat, what heat does to this stuff when it cross-links so quickly. Sometimes it's not good because uh, you might end up with a weaker substrate. It's all right for flow coats and gel coats and things like that, but you certainly wouldn't want your laminates going off that quick. What do I, what do, I do when I go to cut? When Dad stops up a video, and I didn't know this when he first did it, so it was real rude when he first did it. He goes, cut, start again. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay. The realities of YouTube video is what you see isn't always what you get. Cut. All right, so Ellen's, Ellen's I made. I thought Dad was doing hang on, hang on, hang on. these ones. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so Ellen's got our template for our nav station here. We're just working on this. Cut. Right, okay, there you go. Sit that in cut place. Me off. I could cut and pour Ellen off. Right, oh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, beautiful. Right, that's so, not right. Gonna be a nice tassie oak. You know what we're gonna have to do though? That's not right. I'm gonna have to cut it bigger because it's gotta be angled. That's okay, that's okay. I have to right. remember that. Okay, I think that's about right. Look how high it is. That's actually going to give me room to put a cupboard underneath it. I'm going to make a box underneath mm. to hold pens and charts and things. So, not that we're going to have many charts, but we will have charts on board, won't we? Legally, you have charts. Legally, you've got to hold them at the moment. I'm not sure whether that's still current. That. Do you want this to be curved? Um, it looks curved in there. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to catch it. Yeah, I'll put a radius on that. Hang on. I was using my quality fiberglass and scissors to hack away at cardboard. Well, you won't let me use a Stanley knife. No, I'd rather you wreck my scissors. Watch my phone. Watch my phone. I'll leave your phone. So this is what we're aiming for here. Something to this effect. It's going to look quite nice. I'll put a photo of that up because it's blinking. The team is in the house or the boat. What's going on? So mum and dad don't want to have the white finish on some of these walls. So we're going to do timber uh, laminate covers for them. So we need to make templates like what we were doing the other day. So I've just been sticking plastic on and tracing it so that we can literally just stick it onto a piece of wood and cut it out. I was thinking about just buying some vinyl contact and sticking it on, but I thought I should do it. Um, Put it the proper way. With proper sort of laminate full mica or something like that. Um, <laughs> I don't mean that. I was never going to use contact in my boat. <laughs> oh, I've got a few Sirocco fans. I bought eight of them and I've got to work out where I'm going to install them, but I'm going to get the boss in here to check that because I don't want to go mounting anything until Janet gets to say so. And Ellen's down here doing our templating of our main bulkhead. And this is going to be... <sighs> That's all right, you can add a bit to that. This is going to be wood laminate in plantation timber, which is this. So nice, that should look really good. And I've got rolls of that up in the factory. Got my interior decorator here. 
Making more templates. And what are we doing here? We're making a template for the roof lining because we finally got the material. But okay. Dad wants to do it in three sections. And he's been like, let's do a video right as I'm holding this in a really <laughs> awkward position. Someone's got to do the video. I'm the only one that ever does. So we're going to have a panel yeah. here. One in the centre and another one on the end. Now, there's a dual purpose to this. We're trying to keep the weight out of it and also try to make the room look bigger. So we're having it running lengthways rather than sideways, which is pretty obvious, and that will help to extend the look of the room out. We've had multiple marks. We've had to find the centre, and uh, and we had a bit of an arithmetic problem earlier on. All that education I paid for. They don't teach you how to do mental arithmetic. Oh. They teach you how to use a calculator. Oh. It's true. Right. Let's do some learning. Well, you're, you're going to learn more arithmetic also, here on this the job. the way you say it is so confusing. You're like, 1950, blah, 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 750, <laughs> 850. And I'm like, what number are we doing? Okay. Got the earbuds in so you don't have to listen to Dad growling. Only when you're here. I don't grumble when I'm not, when you, there's no one here to listen to it. There's no point in my life to make everybody else's life miserable. Ah, <laughs> uh, roof. Template one. Start with. Start with. Oh, that's pretty clever. How's the templating going? Done good. Onto right. the second of three. Done well. Done well. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> I wish I was like this much taller because yeah. I'm like. Ugh. Yeah, it's still um the head height is very low in our boat, but. But getting into that. It's like it only seems to be a problem for people over six feet. Everyone else walks in here without scalping themselves. And the one trade-off of having a sleek or not a high windage on a boat is having a low head height and a high bridge deck. So we've got the combination. So we're going to get a lot of slapping in the hull, but we're also going to get a lower headroom. So we've got fairing compound on this here. Look at this mess. It's going to take a bit to clean that up. That'll be a good sanding job for you. Got oh, double sided tapes working a treat, isn't it today? So much better than the old stuff. I've been working with not sticky double sided tape, it just wouldn't work. Yeah, it was, it was rubbish, wasn't it? All right, so that's the center panel. That, that's actually good because it's not going to be too heavy. Cool, good job. Just going to go down and see how our templating master's going down here. Tell you what, my kids have proven to be the best templaters in the world. If anyone wants to employ them, these guys are legends. Sand did a great job on all the linings. Ellen's doing all the, the robe linings. Wow, holy dooly. Look at this. There's a lot of plastic in this room. Sorry? There's a lot of plastic in this room. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of, a lot of laminate. That's great, Ellen. Hang on. Cut. <laughs> That's great, Ellen. It's a bit hot in here, though. Ellen's hogging the fan. I'm out there sweltering. Can That's really good, fan? actually. That's great. That's good. All right, cool. You've got six fans upstairs. Should have done this one before the electrics. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Oh, well, you didn't show up for work. I was sick. <laughs> no sick days on the boat. No but... sick days here, ever. Your mum had a sick day and I got her back to work the next day, so it's still sick. That's the way it is here on the holes. Pretty hot. It is hot. <laughs> How hot is it near? It's got to be 50 degrees, man. Nice templating. Holy dooly, that's amazing. So have you got the one on the other side yet or not? No, no, I don't have cardboard. But if it shows anything, you probably don't need to do the cardboard. These seem pretty good. Just use those ones. Yep. Okay. You just cut them a little bit when you put them in. Yeah, yeah, I would cool. put them in in the sections though. I was just saying to Jimmy, our electrician, that uh, Janet doesn't really like the filming, but I think she secretly does. And someone else is in here doing a template for me. How's that going? Sound good. Yeah, cool. Are you doing it in separate bits? No, no, I'm just getting the measurements because I don't have a ruler. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes if you get the curve of one, you can sort of glue it to yeah. stick it on top of the I've other one. I've got like half of it yeah, cool. cut. I just Brilliant. like can't get it on without cutting this bit out. Okay, no, it's good. No, it takes a bit of time. Well, you got to get excited when you're up holster, Rose. Hello, Pete. I'm coming down. I'll be down. I'm very excited, mate. You must be excited to get that out of you, One less job for Christmas. One, 
That's fantastic. How good is that? Actually, it's good while you're that long, but I'm not. I don't think anyone's ever done a better job on that. Yeah. That's perfect. Just a theme here and there, like, you know what I mean? Yep. Got no, you. Could have done the decorative stuff so it looks yeah. pretty. Yeah, no, that's really nice. From those edges, you know what I mean? Yeah, something though, that's the And, um, and yeah. Oh, mate, so, that's so yeah. comfortable. I can yeah. smoke have a beer here. No, yeah, that's yeah. really good. Not too hard, not too soft. Yeah. I might have to when I um if we're gonna put a table in, it's gonna be shaped like shaped like this, yeah. I guess. Let's go and drop. Oh yeah. Down to about here. Yeah. So I might be actually for a bit of foam when the time comes, because I wanna make it into a bird as well. Oh, okay. Just yeah. so you can crash out on it. Yes. If Jenna's doing a long passage on her own. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you can be close to the hill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. no, this is, this is magic, mate. And even on a 50 degree day, it's, it's comfortable. That's all, isn't it? Yes. It is. So hot. I'm not used to this heat. Oh, no. Totally. So that is just magic. Oh, Pete has just done an incredible job here. I'm so happy. It's, um, been a bit of a worry of mine how we're going to get this done but i just think he's done a great job it's not a huge seat but we're going to have a drop down table obviously and uh very very nice and super super comfortable once the table's there it's gonna be a great great position for dining and for laying around and watching telly and stuff um, i know we could probably go on with a flat cushion on here but i do like the bolting i do like the way it's it's actually detailed and uh really does set the whole saloon off here